This is the first in a series of videos on video editing in Linux uh, as far as using Kino. Kino is a very simple, uh, doesn't have too many features in it for video editing, but it's a very simple. I like it for capturing videos. I'm gonna jump right in, click here on capture, and uh, you can choose where you want to save your files to. I'm just going to put them in my temp folder right now. and. Um, you can call them whatever you want. I'm going to call these ones Xmas since these are some shots from Christmas a couple of years ago. It'll automatically save them as in a DV format and break each little shot up into a separate little clip and number them in order. Uh, so there you have that. And we can press play. And once it starts going, we can hit mute there. Uh, I'm going to rewind it just a little bit. And I'm just going to have a few shots here that. I want to capture. Um, like I said, just a few short little clips here I'll capture so that we have something to work with. Once these are captured, I'll just go through a few features here just to give you an idea on what Kino can do. And like I said, it's a very simple uh, editing. It doesn't give you uh, tracks, so you're not going to be able to like synchronize audio and stuff. Uh, Scenerella is more for that. I have videos up online for that. Um, but once you have the clips you want here, you can hit stop and we can go to edit mode. If we want to get rid of a clip, we just select it and choose the scissors to cut it away. Uh, if we want to move a clip, we can grab it and we can cut it and move down here and then we can paste it. So you can change the order of the clips like that. You can go through the clips here. You can see where each clip is based on a line right there. Now if you want to trim up a clip, a few different ways you can do it. You can. Uh, if I wanted only half this clip, I can go here. I can hit this split, and you'll see it splits into two, and then I can just cut out part of it. Also, you can go in, you can select one and go into trim over here and trim away part of it. Um, <clears throat> you can add effects. Uh, and this is a interesting about Kino is that it adds effects. Uh, on most programs you add effects and then when you render the full video it adds the effects. Here it actually renders them at that time which is great because it saves time in the end when you go to render but can make undoing effects uh, a pain in the butt. But you have a, a series of different little uh, effects you can add here. You reverse the video, the uh, coloring of the, vi the video. Um, titler, uh, th this is one nice thing about uh, Kino is the titler, you can put uh, titles in there and you can center it and you can um, move the positioning around and actually animate where um, it is going to be moving to and from. Um, but none of these take effect until you click the little render here. So let's click an eff choose an effect, something simple, we'll just convert that to black and white. And you can see a preview of it in black and white here and we'll click render and you'll see it takes a little while right here because it actually renders it but when you go to save the final video since it's already rendered it speeds up your rendering time so it's a good and a bad thing all depending on what you're doing uh, you can change the speed here if you want it to be twice as fast you just set it to two there make sure you check it so it renders it and then you can click render and now that video clip will be uh, played at twice the speed when you yeah so uh, that's how you add effects. You also have choices for audio effects. Now if you want, let's say we want this uh, video here, the last clip to fade out. Um, what we can do is we choose fade out, um, but you want to limit to the closing and how long, so we'll sec one second at the closing of the video. Uh, you can press play and see how that looks. Render it, and now it added a little extra clip there and that's the fade out at the end of the video. So we got that, and when it hits the end, it will fade out. There we go. Now, uh, also what's real nice about uh, Kino is it gives you a lot of options as far as exporting. If you go to other, you have all these different formats that you can choose from that are presets. Uh, if you click MPEG, you have options for DVD. Uh, you can pick X, aspect and ratio. Um, you know, also export the audio from video. You can export them as a series of JPEG files, uh, or as I always suggest while you're still working on the video, DV, if you do that, since Kino only works with DV files, if you try to import any other format, it will try to convert them to DV uh, before you start editing. So if you export DV, since everything's already in DV format, 
Um, it doesn't have to recompress them, so it saves very fast. Um, if you have auto split files, it'll actually save each one of these scenes as a different clip. If you don't want that, uncheck it and it will save it as one file. Uh, it will save it to wherever you have set here. So we can come in here and choose temp and we'll call it Xmas 1000 with two S's, I don't know why. And now if we hit export, you'll see it locks the audio. Whoop, it's already saved. As I said, it doesn't have to do any recompressing since everything's in DV format. And then we can go to that folder and you'll see that file. Right here. The audio sound funny there because we had that at double speed there. So, you can also remove the audio in Kino. Mainly I use, I use Kino for capturing and it's really good for subtitles. Uh, other than that, it's not very useful, but for just a beginner user, it's so simple just to trim and clip stuff. If you just don't want to get too much into video and you just want to do simple stuff, it might be the program for you. Uh, and like I said, it's also really good for converting to different files uh, types. So that's Kino. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Hope to bring more to you in the future. Filmsbychris.com if you'd like to see more videos and tutorials.